Today I filmed D-Pave's Grey Water Workshop and this is the last day they put together a grey water system here at the Eco Village. You can see um, our solar shower and the sink and then um, the grey water comes down into our artichoke bed over here. So, I will show you what I captured from the day and hope you enjoy it. So, maybe somebody could pull the wood chip. So, then this is just going to ninety. To expose like okay. a digging area. Right. And really, it looks and like we've got enough depth that we might just be yeah. just filling. I have sand to fill too. Okay. So it doesn't stem afterwards. Okay, come on, Brain. So. There's a whole bunch of wood here. Watch for the ants too. Yeah. There's. <laughs> so if, you, if you split once here, you're down to 50% on this. Right. And, and then you come up here and you split quarter. for those two. Yeah. So then it comes down That's and does the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. So a pipe coming in right. and then a splitter. Yeah. Yeah. One and two in between three and four. Seven is the middle. Oh, that would give four five. Four so we've got to yeah. split it in three. Yeah. Right. Fourteen divided by four. Like five. Four and a three quarters. Yeah. Four make it fifteen quarters. and make it five feet apart. Yeah. And then do this one at fifteen. Okay. okay. Yeah. So for four and a half to nine then. So the five. So nine is about right here. Five foot on center. Oh, we're ten good. actually. So five. Zero ten, five. 15. Ten and fifteen. Right. And I suspect there's, there's going to be there. settling. If you like a shovel, would you, would you like a shovel? So we'll try and compact it as much as we can. Okay. So there should not be, like, once it's installed, there really shouldn't be any maintenance. All that's behind dry. We're hoping. Okay. Yeah. So it's soft dirt, though, is notorious for settling. But if it's all glued, then we can just lift it up right. and put more dirt underneath it as it goes out of level. Exactly. <laughs> I like the old one inch stick at the end of the level trick. Oh, okay. Some duct tape. Um, it's it's got a couple of That's because we're doing longer yeah. lines of pipe yeah. normally. Like for one this oh, yeah. small, exactly. our pipe not, might not even be four feet. Okay, so here we are. Let's see where it comes out. Uh, looks like we have a sleeve here. That's an interesting one. So. Pretend to be the boss. Right there, isn't it? <laughs> so we want to come as close as we can to here, so that when we have to this wall, so that when we split our flow, we have plenty of room. So maybe let's right. cut that corner off. Transplant that strawberry. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, there, there we go. Yeah. Perfect. So you just uh, tighten it up using the mechanism, and then. Keep going around, and each Scoring turn it. or two, you give it a quarter turn, and eventually you'll cut it. Um, when it's already there, yeah. like this, I uh, recommend just. We're gonna go. Um, measurements are precise, of course. But go a little bit further. A, than a that, little so bit, yeah, into the hub. Fitting. Right yeah, there. Yep. That's perfect. Uh, see, I'll hope. Try to bend it. Yeah, I was going to say because the kids bind it up. Oh. All right. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only thing. Oh. <laughs> How? Ooh. Oh, that's close. Yeah, stick. 
So, move this all together. Give us a, an idea of how it's going to look. So what, what kind of elbow do you have there? More. Two oh, yeah. sweets. Uh, sweets that's with actually a 245s to make a long turn 90. With a, a piece, piece in the middle? In between. Right. Because you, we don't glue dark. Right. We don't have long sweep 90s, which is what we're... Yeah. No, I get it. But the two of those together make the okay. long sweep. We've done it any longer Seen it. And that's oh, roughly right. two feet. Oh, we want to have two feet though. for every flow splitter. Okay. Not that's the measure twice cut once. You know, that's you don't need it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 18 inches is fine, which is about what this is. But At a minimum. Two, so two feet two from feet the house is your first one, but also two feet from each one. Two feet before each flow splitter. Yep, okay. So. Of straight pipe. And we'll get that. Because otherwise there's turbulence and it won't split equally. Mm -hmm. It'll be, it, it wants to travel around the outside of the pipe. Uh -huh. um, and so then it more would go here than here. Right. So do we want to get it all fitted before we glue? <coughs> well, it's... I mean, you know, make yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll make sure that we have our grade and we can just set it back down and we'll, we'll be using this level mm -hmm. a lot. Right. So, right there. That's about a quarter inch slope. So we back the center? Exactly. Okay. And we could just spot backfill it. Um, just put a mound underneath. So, so it's only the one going into the flow spot. Correct. Correct. I gotta keep so we'll do this one. So you're holding that, this is yeah. being held down so that you can measure your slope and right. not so bounce back So now we have up. a quarter inch grade to this point. Okay. We want it to be about uh, about level, really. Okay. We don't want it to be going up or down. So then we'll glue this part in, and we'll make sure we continue our quarter-inch slope. And then we want these here. We usually put a brick or something underneath to ensure that they maintain dead level, because they're only going to spl split the flow. Equally, if, if they're, they're if they're balanced. Level. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, because it splits. Do you know where the the brickyard is? No. no. Oh, do you it's, live here? Yeah, there's oh, um there's a a lean to back behind the greenhouse. There's a bunch of bricks and uh, oh, okay. other things back there you can use. Awesome. Great. Thank you. What's your name? Pandora. Pandora. Okay. Thank you. Four inch slope. This is our bed. A little bit Down. lower. A little bit lower? About an inch. An inch? An inch, yeah. You're going to need really? an inch yeah, to go down. I think we can. From where I'm looking, that's yeah. plenty of slope. No, if it's too high step. No, that's a quarter inch. That's flat there. Right. So no slope on that. That you're just going for flat. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Delicate, delicate balance. And and is it really the the glued fitting that you're turning there, or is it the, the where how the brick is sitting? It's the fitting. That you're yeah, I'm fitting. The, I'm, yeah. You're still I'm able to get a little play on that. Well, I'm turning the part. 
You're turning the unglued part. That's, right. that's what I'm doing. Okay. So that's. And Johnny, this already had stubs in it. So I'm going to use this one rather than those other ones. Okay. It's going to fit into that and this into that. Okay. Okay. Reusing the It already had <laughs> one in glued. This additional piece. Which, both ends. Yeah, it does. So it's all flipsy. Okay. Weather well, can't decide. I'll have to cut one of these down, or maybe that one might fit. Here's a cable though. Oh, and for the long runs, we do have 10 foot sticks that we can use. But any short pieces, we should definitely be using out yeah. of our stock. Okay. Well, let's use this one then. Mm -hmm. Cut it down slightly. So, what's your face to face? 39, looks like. Mm -hmm. And then, what's the hub? Of, uh, inch and a half. Oh, well, I oh, was getting the hub. Oh, you were reaching the hub. Okay. Yeah. You, oh, I see what you're doing. You're not doing face to face. What is right. the hub? Three quarters. Three quarters so thirty face to face is seven. We have wiggle room down there. We got plenty of wiggle. Let's call it thirty eight. I can be wherever I need it. Thirty eight. And then what's three quarters? Thirty eight. Thirty seven. Anywhere between thirty seven and three quarters and thirty eight and an eighth. Yeah, it's from face to face. Metric? Yeah, but it, it doesn't have to be exact because look how much play we have down there. Yeah, it can be long. But I'm, I'm just saying to learn how to measure it, then we're adding three quarters on each end. Right, because you need to account for the hub. Can we not just measure okay. from inside, right here to... I mean, you can. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, we don't have to do it. Do it. <laughs> Anybody want to glue this? Sure. Uh, we're going to glue in this other one first, uh, this new, new 90, so we can get to work on yep. uh, that path as we Who finish this? up this branch. Legos. Uh -huh. see, I see that level again. Yeah. Make sure we didn't throw ourselves off. We Still can start. perfectly level. Okay. Nice. Let's start laying in longer pipe. Uh huh. I think uh, for that application, we have some ten foot sticks here. Okay. We can just get an exact measurement and cut it off. Okay. So we're not using a bunch of couplings. And okay. So we're gonna glue this one now, right? Uh, or do you want to do the ten foot? Hmm. It doesn't matter. Um, we might go all the way here so we have a solid point and kind of bury some of this so that we're not... Sure. So when we get okay. to that, it doesn't move. Mm -hmm. Get off, get off. Oh, they're right here. All right, I'm going to the face there. Okay. Oh, thank you. Come see him. You're on the face? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Be your face. Uh -oh. 107 and three quarters. 107 and three quarter. Yeah. Face to face. Yeah. So add an inch and a half. Five dollars of Starbucks, darn. <laughs> 107 three quarters. Yeah. 108 and three quarters. 109 and a quarter. Okay. What's your number? I wondered about this. It needs to be dug down over there. Yeah. Hello, oh, right there. Yes, we use brick. So that's our quarter inch per foot. Well, this needs to be filled in back here. Um, so now we should glue it since we're bedded a little bit. Okay. Oh, because you, you're and then still. And we'll gonna... go through and level it again. Fine tune it. Fine tune it. And that's most of it.
right, he's right. his cape. <laughs> right, right, so, exactly. Yeah. And you could probably give him a deal. Yeah, yeah. See where we're at. It's a wing. It's a little bit over. So, yeah. It's right there. I'm um, doing editing. Right. <laughs> little lessons. Like that. Trying to make sure we keep our level. Not, not altering. Are we finding that we had the grade to get in there? Yeah, yeah, we already took it down. And we can back to One thing, we, we haven't glued this junction yet. Somebody on that, then we're gonna have to just do. Does it look it. good? Yeah, you're good. There. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so before we glue these, we can set them, but then come back and glue that one. Right. So we've got everything pretty much where we want it now. Fit. We'll come back and glue it, and then just double check our level. And then. Uh, you want to do that for me, sir? on the hubs. side has to come down so then you're just weighing it down a little or, or this is where you're building it up to make it stay in that position. Is that what the slide is all right? Right there is good. That's all quarter inch we don't need that. Uh, because we have to have free move down here. So it's just staying where this is. Because uh, the, bef yeah. before the splitter is yeah. glued, okay. Uh, okay. So yeah. 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 Can you come towards yeah. me? Yeah. So are you going to be a professional installer? Yeah. yeah. Uh, hammer? Yeah. You got the hammer? Oh, uh, okay. certification, so we get the training. Thanks. I think we're pretty good with where we're, where we're at. Um, I don't think we need them every couple feet or anything. That one needs to be cut. Um, it does. We'll fill the basins yeah, okay. first and then we'll come in and fill um, it with my all the level. Day. So I'll just mark it where the at the top, the bottom of it, and then um, so hold it there. Alright, uh, and then so just take it up. Probably do that a couple so just of you do it and then add it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'd say so. Thank you. Perfect. Awesome. Um, is this one ready for a hole? So, where do you want it? Just um, a little, dig yeah, out. yeah, the yeah. Bottom of the into holster. that, yeah. Uh. Gang. Wait, can you keep watching, please? <laughs> <laughs> you missed the spot. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Don't forget the back side. <laughs> so, do you just take the covers off while you're doing this to watch it? 
uh, if you're worried about the flow being split evenly, then you can inspect it from these. Uh, but otherwise, it should run. There's been systems that have been installed for 20 years and they've never used it. So just yeah. that, when you're setting it. it up. Okay. Yeah. Just at this step. Like, right. like the ability to look at that versus. Yeah. Yeah. What? We did it. Nice now you can look to see how much water. So not as much water. They're not doing it on their own. They're doing it. What the heck? Pretty close. Because this one is arcing green. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. That's looking. So what kind of soap is that for? It's so it's a potassium based soap. It's Dr. Potassium Bronner's. based. Right, Dr. Bronner. So hmm. the hard bar soap is usually made with sodium hydroxide lye. Potassium hydroxide is potash, and it serves the same function. Um, but potassium is a uh, important nutrient for plants, whereas sodium. You know, everybody gets too much sodium. So if you get too much sodium, it'll burn plants, just like it'll burn people. So all the gray water systems use potassium-based soaps, and then you're actually fertilizing the plants whenever you wash your hands. And that's in so Dr. Bronner's just all food. It's right, Dr. Bronner's. So the liquid soaps have usually been potassium-based. Yeah. And it just so happens that Dr. Bronner's is the perfect. Yeah. yeah. So for this, <laughs> yeah, right, right. You've been great water friendly. Yeah, I have. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, we need to. Oh, now we move this over that way. Piece, cause none of these, uh, Our trench is uh, Oh, here. Yeah, we'll put one somewhere. <laughs> um, okay, so oh, it's a little trench. We're doing this here. Because we're out of long trees. I know there was another stick. Okay. I got another stick. So, you guys got it down pretty well as far as bedding don't, it. And don't we want to, do we want to do this right now before we start doing it? Uh, I like, dry fitting is nice. Yeah, okay. because once you have it bedded, you have a way to lay it back into its original position. Can we have the pipe cover piece? Uh, the brick does need to go like underneath the, the 90s. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it's going to get a lot of where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, the cutter. <laughs> okay. Um, so... Oh, now we move this over that way? We've got to get a cut piece, because none of these... Uh, Our trench is... Uh, oh, here. We'll put one somewhere now. <laughs> um, okay, so oh, it's a little trench. Oh, we're doing yeah, this here. Yeah, we need a longer piece. Right. Right. Out of long trees? Yeah. So uh, I know there was another stick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. right. I got another stick. Uh, um, so, you guys got it down pretty well as far as bedding don't, it. Don't we want to do we want to do this right now before we start doing it? Uh, I like dry fitting is nice. Yeah. Okay. Because once you have it bedded, you have. A way to lay it back into its original position. Can we have the pipe cover, please? Uh, the brick does need to go like underneath the, the 90s. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it's going to get a little bit Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, the cutter. Okay. So close. Two little walls right here. Going down to do this, or am I just doing this for fun? Right there? It looks like that was it. Hot pots ripening over there. Uh uh. Oh, that's the best fruit right there. Nice. Those two little trees right there. Yeah. The first year he's got pot pots. Nice. Um, I didn't know you could do them this far west. There? I've heard uh, eastern Nebraska was 
No, no. Their native range, but no, no, they're they're uh, yeah, they're definitely they're rolling. rocking and rolling. Looks like it. Yeah, you can see them ripening like there if you on this side. Uh huh. I'll just check out that a little later. Okay. We got it. Good. To make sure that <coughs> we're not angling up or angling it's the pipe that needs to be quarter inch per foot. The fittings generally are quarter inch per foot. We want a brick under the... Correct. Yeah, there's a brick here. Yep. So you're looking... Oh, that makes sense. We're not going to... Gotcha, yeah. And then um, you could use anything, you know, with this, something like that. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. And then I we pinned it down. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I guess in all of them. So I took wow. like a heavy gauge wire like that, I snipped it and bent it. You like she was saying with the rebar, sorry. You know, that technique with the rebar, you can like stick it around. Right. Oh, yeah. And there's different schools of thought. Like when I took my class, we actually put bricks in the Yeah. And in heavy traffic areas, that's. Yeah. Maybe you can do that, but like, I mean, it's so oh, much awesome, too. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. It's like it, it never happened. happened. Yeah. But, but this, I, I'm not as worried yeah. about this as, yeah. as like these, right? Right. Because that's the end. So if this gets, then it just gets will deep go in, farther. Yeah. you know, the worst that could happen, it would, but as long as this is solid, it's not going to like throw <laughs> it off. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It would go faster. Yeah. So long. Just... <laughs> yeah, what's the what do they say the life of these things are when Art Ludwig started building them and like he designed the system like before the laundry to landscape, I think in the nineties. Yeah. And I think the oldest system's like twenty years. Yeah, and still kicking with still kicking. No maintenance. Yeah. Or little maintenance. Little anyway. maintenance. So it's actually had a longer track record than the laundry to landscape in a weird way. Where did he do those first ones? So he's based in um, Santa Barbara County. And um, yeah, so he, I think he, I think the laundry to landscape, he had some kind of weird like um, preliminary design, but I think it was like in 2000, it was fairly recent, it was 2008 or something. He actually wrote it up. like. I don't know. He he, and he coined the term laundry to landscape. Like I mean, there was there was sort of like a, a preliminary design before that, but that's when he like coined the term and formalized the design and he updated his gray water um, manual. Well, because you're gonna encounter people. Remember when Laura oh. showed you the, all those like old gonna, designs, like from the 80s and 90s, just like not well thought out. So you guys in your professional, you might encounter people like oh. I had a friend in the gray water. I would never do that. It stunk, you know. So, so they're, you know, they're probably not talking about one of these systems. Probably talking about something where it was stored, you know. And so, I think you're right because there's there's a lot there is a, a lot of like negative perception around older systems. So you guys might encounter that. Trying to get shortest distance to the destination. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it's really good. Really Side of the pipe? More mulch? Yeah. Perfect. Fantastic. Um, I guess I'm a little unclear on the cover there very dirt. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, they're waiting for a valve cover box. Do you want to see the what it looks like? Do you want to get the oh, yes, picture no. of what's inside? You could have dropped it down. Um, well, I think I did get it before. Yeah, we changed it. Can you oh, put you did? The, yeah. 
In your editing, can you t put the final version? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, let's, well, okay, I'll, sure, I'll see. <laughs> it just doesn't have any of that cement there's block under. There. Oh, yeah. There's, this, there's no cement there block under it because that would have constricted the flow coming out. Oh, so it goes okay. into the mulch. You can see the outlet. Oh, I see. And then just flowing into because the cement block would have made it hard for the water to flow out. So now that's just directly on wood chips? On wood chips, yeah. And how, how deep is the wood chips under on about top of the ground? This much. Like about six inches. Six inches and then the and then the or container four inches. goes on. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so that way it percolates out. Yep. So the wood chips act like a filter. They catch all the lint and anything, or what, not lint, hair, whatever is in the water, and then it soaks into the soil underneath. I see. Okay. How did you get started doing um, gray water? Um, I got started when I got a water bill. And my housemates and I had just started a garden, and it was the first time we'd ever gotten a water bill. We were not happy with the situation, so we decided we should at least make use, better use of the water that we were using. So we decided to send it out into our landscape. And oh, so you just did kind of a starter thing at home, just yeah. on your own? Yeah, and then it was really fun to do that, so we shared the information with friends and kind of just spread and spread. Okay. Yeah, now we teach people how to do it. Nice. And you, you have a book then? Yeah. Yeah. It's a how-to book to for people that want to install simple gray water systems. What's the name of the book? Gray Water Green Landscape. Okay, I'll look for it. Yeah, this is already Thank you. Thanks everyone. So that was the Deephave Gray Water Workshop. Um, it was fun to hang out with these people. And um, they put in a really nice system here in our kale bed, and then also the one down in the artichoke bed that you saw earlier. That's it for now.